<laughs> Good morning and morning. welcome to Tuesday. And uh, we hope you've had a wonderful weekend. We definitely have. We always seem to have good weekends, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's um, always sunny at the weekend, apparently. It's always sunny at the moment. Well, anyway. well it's sunny, but just windy today. <laughs> uh, today's reading is Luke 5, verses 1 to 11, and Samuel's going to read that for us. One day, as Jesus was standing by the Sea of Galilee, the people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge uh, two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signalled uh, their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came, came and filled both boats so full they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything and followed him. What I love about this reading is that it really reminds me of the Breakfast on the Beach story. Um, and if you haven't seen Mine and Jan's Assembly about Breakfast on the Beach, then please go and find it. It's worth a watch. It's very funny. <laughs> uh, it's a slightly different take, but <laughs> still very good. Um, but so, and um, Breakfast on the Beach in John 21 is where Jesus uh, appears to just appears to the disciples after his resurrection. But that story, uh, what I find mirrors what we've read today. So uh, the disciples are all fishing. Uh, they spend all night fishing and trying to catch something. They didn't catch anything. And Jesus, in both times, um, says, try again. And they do, and they catch so many fish. In uh, the story we've read this morning, uh, Jesus says to Simon Peter, you will fish for people. And in Breakfast on the Beach, he says, you will lead my sheep. And so you can see that there's a step in between what he says at the start of Jesus' ministry and then what he says to Peter at the end of his ministry. And so what we're talking about uh, today is preparation. Uh, for Simon Peter, this preparation took place throughout Jesus' ministry. So as I said, it starts when Jesus is choosing his disciples right at the beginning. And it uh, the training, I suppose, finishes when um, Jesus comes back and, and says, you're going to lead, you're going to lead my church. And I'm sure Simon and Peter would have definitely remembered um, Jesus, the story of Jesus calling him to be his disciple when he had breakfast with Jesus on the beach and realised the parallels himself about what training he had been through. And I'm sure there's many other times when the disciples remembered things that Jesus did that would have amplified the importance of those events before um, to help them now in their present and so we've seen this uh, many, many times over our, albeit very short ministry. Uh, so in just a few examples of those. When we were 16, our previous, previous vicar at our previous church put us in charge or gave us responsibility of the worship at our evening service. And now, I, while I don't think I would have been as brave as him, putting 16 year olds in charge of worship, um, he did that. And it was an amazing experience for us as we had responsibility. There was lots that we learned. Uh, we probably got a lot of things wrong, but it was very good training uh, for making rotors, helping with sort of team building, pastoral stuff with team members. Uh, and while we're certainly not perfect at it now, it was a really good start. Uh, and it's clear that that was part of our training and preparation for where we are today and where I'm sure we'll be uh, in many years to come. Uh, and another example is uh, our previous church was actually two churches. It was two buildings, uh, but with one parish. One a quite traditional church and one a quite modern church. Uh, and so this again was very good at preparing us for where we are today, finding three churches, uh, well, three congregations in one uh, benefice. Although our last church wasn't a benefice, very applicable again. So in the interview when Jan was telling us all about three churches, we were at least somewhat familiar with how that would, would work and what it would look like. And then the last little example, nothing to do with church, 
Uh, while I was at uni, I was the student body treasurer, which was an experience. <laughs> it was a very steep learning curve. Um, but now I look back and actually realise how important that was for me as I was doing all the expenses, all the accounting uh, for the student bodies. I now do it as a self-employed tutor. And so I know without that experience, I'd have found it much harder work. Uh, so I had all the templates all sorted. I sort <laughs> of knew what to do. And I can clearly see that God was just training me to help me out in that. So I didn't panic and flounder where we are now. <laughs> and there's so many more um, that we could tell you about. So if you'd like to hear some, do let us know and we'll, we can send you plenty more. And so uh, we look forward to these experiences coming up again and again and again. Whether it be in 10 years time, uh, a year's time, a month's time or a week's time. But we know that God is preparing us uh, and preparing all of us to for what he's got in store for us. And so it's very exciting to see what comes next. Uh, and that's our thoughts really on this passage. So have a great day. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as windy as it has been today. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think so. Enjoy, have a, have a great day. Have a great day. day. Bye. <laughs>